assume this is about what went on at the motel. What happened at the motel? You don't know, I tell you. I was working security by Wisconsin. And on Tuesday night, we heard gunfire coming from the area near the Algiers. You don't talk about this to anyone ever. I learned something that really hit me about how Catherine Bigelow did not want you to prepare and know ahead of time how you might feel with all of this. Absolutely. But to the extent that you could, and cooperate in doing so, feel it. Exactly. Talk about that, because that's a fascinating and dangerous, from her point of view, of getting what she wanted approach. If it doesn't work, it all goes down the drain. Yeah, 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 <laughs> it's very true. She's, she's a very, very, very brave person. But, I mean, everybody is human, you know, and you have a certain human quality about you as an actor that can leave if you don't commit, you know? So I think she wanted to not only find really raw talent and new talent, but but also ways to make us really react naturally in the mm -hmm. situation, you know, because half of the time nobody was ready for what was happening. I mean, yeah. people are rioting. I've been learning more, oh, you yeah. mean in the day? Yeah. Then, yes, yeah. But, yeah. out of anybody's normal experience. I mean, sure, experience all kinds of discrimination. Gun right by your head, coming at you from a distance, up against a wall, all yeah. of that. Yeah, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> but what I'm fascinated by is what you as craftspeople would feel in that moment because there's a combination of things that you couldn't really probably have felt in real life. Fear to a level only a few people fear mm -hmm. and shame for feeling fear, which you're covering like men do in all kinds of ways. Mm -hmm. Money Clift said, when you're an actor, you know you're acting intellectually, but your body goes through it like it's real. Yeah. Do you identify with that? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Real emotions. Those are real emotions and trusting the situation, trusting that we were in the right hands when it came to camera angles. I mean, we didn't know where all of the cameras were. Because there were many cameras. Times. Yeah, many yeah. cameras. And, um, you know, we had to experience this film. We had to come in on our toes, ready to work. And um, it was truly just making art at a very high level. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. High level, yeah. Well, you're, you're just starting out in this business and I'm old, but you're That's probably so. not going to have an experience this intense anytime soon again. Yeah. Yeah. It really changed me a lot. Like just doing this film and just being aware of everything that's going on and the history of the situation really, really opened my eyes, you know, gave me, gave me empathy mm -hmm. for the people that went through this. And yeah, it really As changed it me a lot. all of us. Don't yeah. forget that. Mm -hmm. I was up against that wall. I was in those rooms. Mm -hmm. And that's how you gain empathy, yeah. gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so much. I'm Patrick Stone.